Good morning, Montreal and rest of world. Welcome back to the Ryan Sullivan Show podcast, episode 51, coming to you live and direct from a humid as fuck downtown Montreal. Whoa, she's scorching outside. We always kick off the show with a little weather, sports, fashion, arts, and lifestyle. Huh. I don't know if that's true, but fuck it. Anyway, uh, pretty cool, pretty groovy. 9 a.m. Where are you at, though? If you're not up at 9 a.m. on a Saturday, where the fuck are you at? And you got to start your day off on Saturday. It doesn't matter what you're going to do after, but you have to start with picking out your outfit, bro. Start your Saturday by getting dressed. Then take it off. Then take it off and hang out naked. And play video games for two hours. That's how you start a Saturday. You want to know the keys to... I'm Tawny... I'm Tawny Rollins of this game, dude. I'm the Tawny Rollins of this podcast game, my guy. And the keys to success are getting dressed before you even know what you're doing, bro. You start the coffee pot, you pick an outfit. Then you dance for TikTok in said outfit. And then you take off all your clothes, play video games for two hours, make yourself a breakfast sandwich, and then go downtown and try to find another pair of shoes. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Scoob, I don't know. <laughs> These shells. <clears throat> Working on my. I'm not. I think Christopher Walken is sort of like rolling your tongue. It's genetic. You can either do it or you can't do it. These, sh- these shows. Wow. These shows. Listen. These shows. Wow. I can't. I don't have it. It's too early for Christopher Walken. But. Make yourself. Go get your own happiness, bro. And mine comes in a fucking. Six by 16 inch box like this. Bruh, the Bordeaux ones. I love that silver swoosh. They took heat for having the silver swoosh. Why wasn't it tonal? Sneaker heads, why wasn't it tonal? I love that hit because it's reminiscent of the Tokyos. And it's just a little little bedazzlery, bro. So I'm taking big risk. Do it, how are we doing in there? We're doing okay. Um, but gray tea on a humid summer day. Risking it out here, risking it all. But look how beautiful these shoes. These I I bought I think I bought a pair of J's every month last year. I, I averaged a pair a month, for sure. I think these are my favorite that I bought in 2021. Shout out to Maddie, aka DJ Midas. I didn't buy these retail, but I got them for retail. He he sold me... <clears throat> Excuse me, Mom. I got these for 300 Canadian, delivered to my door right outside here. We outside. For 300. If I had bought these online, it would have been 245 plus tax plus shipping. It would have been like $319. So shout out to Maddie. I've worn these once. And you can tell that it was still, they hadn't cleared out all the salt from the streets. But these came out in November. This was such a hard shoe to not wear, but not really. Because, but yeah, you do not, you do not put these on if there's snow or slush outside. You just don't, dude. But look at, look at the poppage. And I am, I am head to toe burgundy baby and gray today. Because with the gray tee, the shorts, matching, and the cap, dude. So that's the outfit right there. And, the, and my socks are gray. And my socks are gray and my socks come up like that much above the shoe. Oh, man. 
Go find you some happiness in the bottom of a box of shoes, bro. So we're lady on a Saturday. There's a pair of Vans I want that I'm going to go downtown and try to get. And then I'm playing tennis this afternoon. Young Saturday in the cut. They call me Young Saturday. You might know me as the English patient. But they also call me Young Saturday, bro. God damn. And this... Yeah. I'm... I, I'm... So, yo... Did I do a podcast last weekend? No. I was cranky. I've been not, I've been having like some, tr some trials and tribulations, but not really. Do you know what I'm saying? But just like when shit isn't easy, that's okay though. That is, that is what they call life. And it's a blessing to be able to, uh, to be able to live this mafk. To be able to live this mosque, to get out there and get up on a young Saturday morning and be like, what am I doing? I got tennis at three. Everything else is available. Everything else is available. Yesterday I went to, how's the lighting? It's like I'm sitting in front of the window, but it's so shadowy. That's probably I right, though. Keep it mystic. Mystic River. That's why they call me young mystic. You know, I have so many rap aliases, dude. You don't even, you don't even know. But uh, double long weekend. This is my first in Montreal employer that honored both Saint Jean Baptiste, which was last weekend, and it's a provincial holiday, and Canada Day, which is a national holiday. In the my previous two employers, it was pick one, and I kind of. And I, which I understand. Back to back long babies. Woo, woo, woo. So yesterday the staff went out to Aqua Club. Quebec Aqua Club. And it was fun. It actually was. I, I mean, I can make my own fun pretty much anywhere. But I was curious to see if it was going to be really shitty because you know how it, especially a water park, a water park in Canada, what kind of investment is that, bro? How do you commit to that? You're only open four months a year. And the maintenance on this facility, like getting that thing up and running in the spring must just be a nightmare, dude. It must be family owned or it's owned by like some Norwegians. That they're just like, what is it going to take to get operational this year? And they're Russian for some Norwegian Russians, you know. They're very into the water park business. What is it going to take? How many million? 20? 20 million start water park 2022? That makes sense. Green light. <laughs> but I kind of wanted it to be super shitty. Like no new paint since fucking 98, you know. Because then you can just make fun of it. And I was hyped to make fun of it. But it actually was fun. It was real fun. When we went with work. So there was maybe 16 of us. And they had like, I don't know, 10 slides. And like, legitimate adult slides. Think about water slides. They're so short. You know? It's so quick. But there was, there was some good times had yesterday by all. And it was dummy humid yesterday. Holy. But your, your ginger, the Ginger Express survived because it was overcast. If it had been as hot as it was yesterday plus direct sunlight, I would have... I can't do... I can't. It's not a matter of, ooh, put on sunscreen. Dude. I got lit up last weekend wearing SPF 50 at my homie's lake it doesn't matter when you have when you're this fair bro i'm very fair i'm very fair and my shoulders but boy do i love being in the water and so last weekend i spent like five hours in the water bro i am a merman bro 
Merman, Dad. Oh, wow, do I ever need to watch Zoolander. Okay, movie of the night tonight, Zoolander. Got to make sure I have that. Where's my external hard drive? Where's where's my external hard drive? Bro, my, my external... 2TB Seagate is so stacked, bro. The thing about external hard drives, though, is like as much as you can load them and love them, they will crash and you will lose it all. That's that's just how it is. I guess you know, the safest way, that, you know, with anything physical, like it will fail. Maybe in maybe in ten months, maybe in ten years. But because that happened before, I used to have a terabyte. It's crazy. Like, I used to have a terabyte. No, 500 megs. That was this big. With, you know, with like the extension cord for the Mac. It was massive. Thing weighed a brick. I go to the airport and they were like, is this the black box from a Boeing 737 that you want to tell us about? Like, no, it's just 500 gigs of stolen movies. And they're like, well, that's illegal. Come with us. And I was like, Um, But now I got my little Seagate two terabytes. And uh, yeah, I went out to the water. And I just love being in water. What's that movie that was dope that was about a mermaid, but it was dope? It was the dude who did Pan's Labyrinth. I believe of Spanish descent. Or, uh, sorry, not Spanish. Very big difference between being Spanish and being Latin American. Latin American. And, uh, man, I worked with a, a variety of Latin Americans, and they don't like each other. Like Colombians and Peruvians and Mexicans don't like each other I don't know I should not say anything about it but I owe it anyway so yo oh uh, ah uh, what was my name young Saturday so yeah the water park was legit it was fun and it was perfect because listen here's hey listen all my Zelda Ocarina of Time fans know exactly what that audio cue is. And if she doesn't get that reference, she's too young for you, bro. Okay? Hey, listen. So, I wanted it to be really great or really shitty, and it was, it was really great. And they had a wipeout course. Um, it wasn't like on TV. It was an inflatable, like one massive connected inflatable, um, which was really large, actually. Um, do you want to see what shoes I'm waiting for on the way right now? Yeah, yeah, you do. Air Force One Mid Chocolate. I'm very hyped. You got to buy at least a pair of shoes a month, people. If you're not buying a pair of shoes a month, what are you doing? So, of course, you can't see the color. The color in here is aft. But they're like a chocolatey, and the, and the accenting colors, like the sole, the swoosh, the laces are like cream. Creme de la. I'm going to murder this shoe. I'm going to step out the house, and people go, Ugh! people start throwing up when I walk past. And that's an under-the-radar heat banger. You heard, heard it here first. If you want some advice. Rye guy, what shoes to show you? I love brown. I'm, as you can see, like, I am full fall color mode, dude. I'm wearing all fall colors this summer. I'm loving, like, dark green, burgundy, and brown. A little gray to, to accent. STFU. So, oh yeah. The... The treacherous, the treachery of being captured. What, I, what do you mean? What, what do you mean, Rye? Where are you here? Where are, fill us in. Where are you? It's a very dangerous game when you are going to a thing that you can't just leave. And because you're not driving. And you can't just dip. Case in point, 
driving an hour out of town yesterday to go to this water park. Um, I like to be able to just get out and not say goodbye to anyone. I am Irish Scottish and I take full advantage of the Irish goodbye. I don't ever do a round of goodbyes. I don't. Don't like it. Because then people say, why? People ask you, why? Why do we do that as a culture? Why are you leaving? Just, okay, cool. Good to see you. You know? Oh, why? Because, bruh. How about because, though? But you can't, you can't leave early without having to explain yourself a hundred times. And that's why the Irish goodbye exists. But yeah, being captured. When you go to a thing and you are not in control of when you can leave. That's the definition of being captured. So I didn't know when I was going to get back. And I was worried because... Your boy Ginge, young Gingy in the cut. And again, thank God that it was over. It was so humid though. Cause, but if that sun had been out, it would have been concerning. Like I would have been very aware of the sun takeage. And it was overcast and humid and it was great. And then someone was like, oh, I have to go back into town for my second job. At 2.30. We got there at 9.30 a.m. Canada Day at a water park. Actually wasn't as busy as I thought. But there's a really... There's a fun... There's a fun recap video on my TikTok and Instagram. Uh, uh, I died. There's a recap video on my Insta and TikTok at Sullivan Ryan. And uh, yeah, Pierre Joseph was like, I got to get back into town. And I was like, I would love to come with you. He was like, sure. And I was like, because oh. this property is in this little like cove on, I forget the lake specifically, but it's an hour out of Montreal. Beautiful water temp, water slide. So you have a piece of beach. You have some like food kiosks. And this was a place, it was gated. Absolutely, you had to pay admission, which my guess was probably 59 bucks for a general admission adult. But work-related, so fucking... Thank you, work. Um, but you could bring your own food. So it was like, it, it was very much like beach picnic vibes and water slides. And there was maybe a dozen of them. But... For the adult water sides, there was like six that were like legitimately, okay, I'm grown up and this is fun. There was a couple moments, not going to lie, where I was like, oh, I am old. <laughs> because my heart came up into my throat. Ah, that's what my heart tastes like. Oh, that's what my heart tastes like. And I'm getting older. Um, which is great because I didn't expect that to get an actual little scare. Didn't expect to get a little scare. I was like, this is going to be some chicken children bullshit. But j'avais par, dude. J'avais par. Y'avait des moments que j'avais par. <laughs> ah. So, yeah. And I was able to slide early, which is so great. Because once you're at a thing... A thing, being at a thing is great until you have that thought, that first thought of when am I leaving? The second that first thought, even though you know it's not right away, but the second that first time that you have that thought, hmm, I wonder when I'm leaving, it's downhill. It's downhill from there. And you may still be there for a half hour. You might still be there for four and a half. You might still be there for 10. But as soon as you have that first thought, of, hmm, I wonder when I'm leaving. That's your cue to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. That's your cue to go. Because you don't want to overstay your welcome ever in life. It's so much better to leave things on a high. And so that's what we did, bro. 
that's what we did. So I've had a couple of slam in summer weekends. Last weekend, out to Lac de la Gris, Gray Lake. It was not gray. It was nice, sparkly blue. But holy shit, the bugs. The black flies. My legs are still itchy and riddled with bites. I've never, I've never been so, I've never had bites so itchy. They love me. Those masks. Those masks love me, dude. My blood type, the ginge, they're like. And everyone was stoked because I was the tractor beam. I kept the attention off of anybody else. But it's cool to be living SS22, bro. We out here living SS22. We ain't just talking about it. We live in it. We've got full burgundy and gray coordinated outfits, bro. We've got chocolate brown Air Force One mids on the way, bro. Come on. If you aren't buying a pair of shoes a month, at least. Should be every paycheck, ideally. But there hasn't been a lot of Nike heat rocks. I bought a pair of Adidas the week before last. And then and then I bought a pair of Converse the weekend before that. Yeah, in June I tracked four pairs of shoes. <laughs> I bought a pair of Converse, pair of Adidas, the chocolate browns, and okay, just three. That's that's good. Um yeah, bro. Biggest problem I have right now is what do I have for breakfast? My milk expired. Oh. You know, life isn't so bad when that's your issue. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my milk expired. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, my cousin is in town. You all, we all. We all, we all. We all have cousins we haven't seen since we were toddlers. I haven't seen Paige in 15 years. And she's here for a, bla a blatchlorette party. And so I'm really looking forward to Sunday night because they're having their weekend. I'm not getting involved in their weekend. Go ahead. I'm not coming. She texted me last night. She texted me last night at like 12, 14. Middle of the night. Text reads, Yo! <laughs> Why six O's? Yo! Me? Well, I know what this means. Where, where should we go and come meet us? And I was like, I don't want to answer this. I put my phone down. And I was like, don't be rude. So I replied, yo! With an additional three yo's to her, an additional three O's to her six. Because I was like, oh, I can tell you where to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Shout out to E40, King of the Bay. No, Mac Dre is King of the Bay. But E40 got to inherit Mac Dre's crown after he got shot and died. Rest in peace. <coughs> <clears throat> and friggin', uh, no, I can tell you where to go, you know? But I'm not coming. But anyway, I get, to, I get a fun... My fun features on Sunday. She was like, so five of the girls are staying Sunday night as well. Not everybody, but five of us. Um, do you want to do dinner with us? And I was like, yep. And she was like, where? And I was like, don't worry. Immediately booked for six at McKiernan. I was like, wait, any vegans? She was like, nope. And I was like, Gra -gra. booked McKiernan Sunday. And it's going to be five, five girls and myself. And that's a lot of fun because I like to make people laugh and that's going to be a fun time. So, and going in, I've never actually had di the dinner service at McKiernan. I've only had lunch. McKiernan is my favorite place to eat in Montreal. McKiernan is my favorite place to eat in Montreal. Mm-hmm. 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 And, uh, yeah, 
pretty spectacular weekend yesterday. So I had the perfect, so I didn't get captured. I was in and out. I didn't, I didn't even get the third eye of regret and why am I here? Um, but I went and it was fun. Oh, there's a spider caught in between the panes of my window. The panes of my window. It's the name of my autobiography. <laughs> Yo, what was the movie I need to watch? Zoolander. Yeah, watching Zoolander tonight. And uh, so, yeah, we have a good week. Dude, I'm, I'm rolling downtown. There's a pair of vans that I want that are in, in that colorway. There's like, they look like the Jordan 1 handcrafteds, but in a van's old school, which is great. Which is great. Um, and then I have tennis today at three, and then I'm going to watch two movies tonight. Why be dating? Why be in a relationship? Look at that heavy, heavy amount of self-love. Potentially buy a pair of shoes. Play tennis. Not by myself, but with Christina. But she's like hanging out with a version of me. It's fucking awesome. Uh, she's spicy though, man. Italians, I hate to, whatever, a lies. What do they call it? Generalize? Judge? Uh... Stereotype. She's Italian. She loves confrontation. They do, that's a coincidence. I'm not judging Italians. I'm just saying she's in it. She is Italian. She loves confrontation, or she doesn't shy away from confrontation. I don't like confrontation at all. Anyway, I don't know why that got brought up. Oh, maybe because she started shit with people last time we were playing tennis. I'm not. I'm not going into it. Both sides had a point. They both they were both right, they were both wrong. Okay? That's it. I'm Sweden, bro. I'm neutral. Switzerland? Sweden? Whatever. It's those damn dirty Dutch. Uh yeah, heavy amount of self love. Picking an outfit first thing. Setting the tone. Then playing naked video games. Having two cups of coffee. Then going downtown to try to find a pair of shoes might find one, might not. Either way, I'm coming home with Chinese food. <sighs> then playing tennis at 3 o'clock. Then watching two movies by myself, bro. Spiritu Sancte. Spiritu Sancte, bro. Come on. Tomorrow, tennis at noon. Tomorrow, tennis at noon. And then dinner with Paige and her girlfriends. Come on. Let's go. So, um, that's it. I'm going to, yeah, dude, I am out of time. So that's what's up. Episode 51. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Follow me on IG and TikTok at Sullivan Ryan. And have yourself a